This is the Film City camera cage for the A7R2, the A7S2, and the A7 II. This is the most affordable cage I have ever used and seen to date for the Sony Alpha Mark II lineup. However, with that being said, I want you to understand that the price has nothing to do with the quality behind this product. The camera cage retails for 197 bucks and links to this cage can be found below. For less than $200, you get a ton of accessories. This includes a top handle, a rod adapter, Manfrotto style base plate, an Arca Swiss style plate, 250 millimeter male rods, 250 millimeter female rods, and then of course the cage. The camera cage is a single piece design making it extremely easy to fit your camera inside. Assembly is the same as most cages using a single screw on the bottom. Then you just attach the Arca Swiss style plate to the bottom and you're nearly ready. What I love about this is the fact that the Arca Swiss plate that's included works perfect with my Kessler receivers which means it should work nearly perfect for all Arca Swiss style receivers. Attaching the rod support to the Manfrotto style base plate requires a no tools. Simply slide the rod support in and line it up with the appropriate threaded hole of your choice and use your thumb to tighten down the red screw. Once that's assembled, slide in the base plate to your Manfrotto head or head that accepts Manfrotto style plates and lock it down. Now unscrew the knob located on the side of the Arca Swiss receiver and connect the camera to the rod support. Make sure the knob is not on the battery door side otherwise it will interfere with opening and closing of the battery door. Once you got everything in correct position, it's time to lock it down. Screw the knob locking it tight against the Arca Swiss plate in order to keep the A7R2, S2, or just A7 II safe and stable. Now it's time to attach the top handle. The small pins on the handle serve for two purposes. One is geared to the 15 millimeter opening for accessories, while the other is for securing the handle to the base. The handle can be attached on the top, left, or right sides. There is a sliding mechanism for the handle to glide in and then you use the pin to tighten it down. No worries on carrying your rig by that handle because I promise you it will remain secure. Speaking of that top handle, with a simple flathead screwdriver, key, or coin, you can unscrew the red screw located on the top of the handle to change it up to four different rotations, giving you optimal flexibility for your shooting skills. Attaching your accessories to the 15 millimeter rod support located on the handle, like I have with my external monitor here, is simple. Make sure your accessory has a quarter rod support on it and then put it in the handle support hole like you see here. Tighten up the lock as tight as you can, which is very easy to do as the twist locks are not very tight and they're also spring loaded so you can adjust with ease. Now that I got my rig set up, it's time to get a signal to my monitor. Plugging in the HDMI cable to the camera is really easy and then you use the included wire clamp to mount in the optimal threaded hole of your choice and pinch off the cable to eliminate any accidental disconnects during your shoot. The cage stands tall, but it's built like a rock. Being made of CNC aluminum and featuring 20 quarter inch holes, 16 3 8 inch holes, and three cold shoe mounts, not including the hot shoe that's built onto your camera, you have a ton of different mounting options. The walnut side grip not only looks amazing, but it's a great handle in general. I mean, whenever you're doing handheld photography and you remove that handle, it's gonna give you a nice firm grip so you don't have to worry about your camera slipping out of your hand. The cage is extremely similar to other cages on the market, but here's the thing. Those cages retail between 350 to 450 bucks and you get more stuff with this one and you get just as much functionality. The Film City camera cage is going to give you the best bang for your buck easily, considering it costs less than 200 bucks and it's gonna give you all the functionality and build qualities of other high-end cages. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, follow, and check out this cage and what else Cine City may have for you on their website. If you guys keep showing love and Cine City wants to show some love, maybe we can have a little YouTube production giveaway. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be easy.